here we are. And the build-up. This is Holy Week, and we're on the build-up towards Resurrection Sunday. And I was struck by this this verse this morning. And he says, "We will, you will always have the poor among you, but you'll not always have me. And you see, Jesus was at this party with all of his friends and his acquaintance, and it was being thrown in honour of him. And Lazarus was there. Lazarus, whom he'd just raised him from the dead, raised him up from the dead. Mary, Lazarus' sister, was now moved by her brother. She was sitting there with the man that had raised her brother from the dead, and she'd seen that all happen in front of her very eyes. She'd seen him weeping for Lazarus at the tomb, and then she'd seen him and heard him call him out. Come out, Lazarus. And she was moved by such gratitude. And in this act of worship, she just needed to worship him. She goes and gets the most expensive perfume and anoints Jesus' feet with it. And wipes it with her hair. And, and, and Judas gets, uh, I think, the ache. All I can say is the ache with this. And he says, why waste this perfume? It could have been sold to, given to the poor. And Jesus, knowing that he was headed towards his crucifixion, to his death, he says, you will always have the poor among you. There will always be time for that. But I'm here now. And Judas, you're missing the point. The question is, comes to us from Jesus you see he's here now he's with us and he's with us with all of his mercy his compassion and all of the power and the glory of his holiness how will we respond this time will we like Judas miss the point of this incredible holy week Will we be clouded by our own greed and by our own desire to get more for ourselves? Or will we be like Mary, an extravagant, uncalculated, generous, humble offering of worship to the King of Kings? Jesus is close today. How will you respond?